and welcome back to the Now Morning Show, where we continue to partner with the Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago as they help us to connect with extraordinary artists every week. This week is no different. As a matter of fact, this is perhaps one of the youngest artists that we've had featured on set, and he is a phenomenal young man who somehow, between creating art, gymnastics, and balancing 10 CXE subjects, finds the time to create the beautiful pieces we featured this morning. We say welcome and good morning to Jaden Bain. Good Thanks morning. Thanks so much for having me. Morning. An absolute pleasure. We are thrilled and excited to find out how you <laughs> do it. <laughs> First of all, because you have a lot going on. I understand, though, that things started with mommy discovering your talents at a very early age yeah. and enrolling you in the necessary uh, entities, if you will, to get that extended. What does art do for you? Why do you create? I create to tell stories. Mm. Mm. What kind of stories do you like telling? <laughs> History about our people. Really? Tell me, tell me what got you into liking our history about our people so much. School. Yeah. And I think a while ago I started history and it's so interesting to learn about the past and so sort of influence the work. That's very interesting because you don't hear many people your age talking about history mm -hmm. in a positive way. You don't know much history <laughs> at your age. First to begin. Oh, <laughs> 40, like, come on. So that's pretty phenomenal. And in that case, are there particular facets of our history that you focus on more than others? Things that have perhaps influenced or impacted you more? Uh, I like to look at sort of slavery aspect of it. Why? Dark stuff, man. Yeah, but I'm like, what, what, why, why, why that particular? I mean, particular? I think because part of the reason is because I'm a black person, mm -hmm. and so it's sort of interesting to learn about my origin story. I like that. In that case, let's jump into the pieces, <laughs> because each one of them have their own story to tell. Yes. And we'll start with the young lady with a hand on her chest. Yes. And the title and the inspiration behind that one. The title is The Commencement of a New Era and it's about independence. Okay. Um, so the piece depicts a proud Trimbegonian reflecting on the birth of the nation, mm -hmm. the very first independence. And so we have the hand across the chest symbolic of patriotism. And so this one required some research, mm. and so in doing the research, I came across a Guardian news article from the morning we gained independence, mm. and so I referenced that at the very top of the page with the headline. Right. So that now becomes a nation. Yeah. yeah. There is a lot of text to it that I imagine we could read yeah. even and more. and then bits of the article ah, throughout the piece. Actual yeah. cutting and, okay, so this would actually be like a collage and painting yeah. combination. Right. I'm very curious about why the Red House is black. Uh, <laughs> it's not really... Sorry, uh, grey? What is it? What is it? <laughs> it, it grey. Like charcoal. Yeah, charcoal. It's actually paint. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. But, but it, it, there's not really a specific reason for oh, okay. that, but yeah. I just check in to make sure, because I know sometimes artists pull kind of hidden <laughs> gems yeah. in their work, so I just check in to see... Big facts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> check in to see if there was a reason that it changed color. Just because it's in the background, it's mm -hmm. kind of shadowed out. Yeah? All right, so can we move on to the other one? Uh, yeah. what's, what's the name of this, this piece? This one was, is Art Heels Art and Heels. is about the busyness of life, mm. especially Your after, life. <laughs> <laughs> after re the restrictions were raised after COVID. Right. And then you sort of jumping back into life all of a sudden, it's so busy again. And so it's about the fact that art can be a route for escape and relief. This I mean, especially for me. <laughs> I was about to ask, do you use it as a teenager? Yeah. Imagine there are lots of things that you're going through in life that you don't know how to deal with properly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel comfortable to talk to everybody about. Yeah. Do you use your art to get through some of that? Yeah, definitely. Especially with the stress of juggling the million things. Mm -hmm. This one is colorful, though, so I feel like it's a, a lot more optimistic, though. Mm. No? <laughs> He's like, mm. He's like, mm, I don't know about that. Optimism. Not really optimistic. <laughs> but it, is it paired with this? third piece that is next to it then? No. There's similar themes. Similar, but okay. this next one is about emancipation. Mm. Um, so for this one, I was looking at 17th and 18th century European works. Mm -hmm. So more specifically, British portraiture, because um, they were the last country to rule. And so I was looking at not only the poses of 
the, the subjects of those paintings, but also the way the enslaved were depicted at the periphery of the painting or serving their masters. Mm -hmm. And so to sort of take back that power um, to say now that you are free, you can be depicted in whatever way you want as well. There's no choice involved in the matter wow. of That's so posing. profound. So You're showing sure 15? Yeah. Like, She's we're going to talk to your mother after this. Yeah, understand? I feel like mommy right now all these answers for you. Yeah. But what the jail is this? Not even mommy right now. No, jail, I'm, I'm, I am genuinely very, very impressed by the, the depth that you put into this mm -hmm. and, the, and your purpose behind it because it's very nice to, it's refreshing to hear a 15-year-old talk like this with such purpose, especially when it comes to history and mm -hmm. making a difference going forward. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the last piece where you have the Minister of Finance <laughs> looking over my shoulder. The last piece is actually a um, commissioned piece for Minister Ember himself. Um, so for this one, I was using sort of, it was sort of to be like um, corporate colors. So mm -hmm. we're using grays and whites and blacks. Um, and then on the other hand, um, we're t um, talking about, you know, life, corporate life. Mm -hmm. And then so um, I used some things that came to mind when we were talking about, when I was thinking about Minister Embert. So we have the Twin Towers, which where the central bank is okay. located, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. financial headquarters mm -hmm. of the nation, and then the Grand Bazaar interchange, because he Boy. was um, the Minister of Transport. Correct. And overseer the, um, the development of the bridge, which is now used daily by citizens. So. And saves a lot of traffic. <laughs> Look at you knowing things that a lot of people tend to forget. Right. Beautiful ways to remind us of these things and really and truly some profound thought behind the work today featured for the rest of the week here on the Now Morning Show, the works of Aidan. Sorry, Jaden. Jaden. <laughs> but Jaden, what I wanted to also ask about very quickly is your ability to help stage up actual displays and exhibitions. So as much as you are featured, you are helping other persons put on those exhibits. What is yeah. that like? What so does that entail for you? Fun. Um, <laughs> the staging is about, not only about putting up the pieces here and there and everywhere, it's about telling stories. And so based on those stories, you have to place pieces together right. appropriately. Mm -hmm. I and make it, to make it make sense. Hey, hey. All you hear that is coming from Jaden himself. He said, make it make sense. Tell the story and make it make sense. Jaden, congratulations on all the work that you're doing. Thank you. And all the best with your 10 subjects, plus your extracurricular, <laughs> plus your art. And your exam today. And your exam yes. that you have today. We can go keep you no longer so you can make sure you reach your school on time. Thank you so much for joining us Thank this morning. You. And again, we're going to keep this up on display for the entire week so the nation can have a chance to really mm -hmm. appreciate it. We thank you so much for joining us Thank this morning, Jaden. Special good morning to the teachers as at as your boys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully you'll give them a little extra time. All you have, all you have, all your hands full with Jaden here, boy. Way boy. Beautiful stuff. Big up to the history teacher especially. <laughs> Good morning to you. And we take a quick break and come back with more in our morning shows. Stick around.